So, Sister Mai, <clears throat> for my birthday, invited me over, cooked me a dinner, made me a cake, so I'm going to make my own cake. But, thank you for all the birthday wishes, I appreciate it. So, we're going to do a tutorial on how to cook a cake today. <clears throat> this is still my birthday weekend. We have Dr. Harris. I worked out yesterday for about three hours. This is a German chocolate cake. But we're going to be using coconut peanut for the icing. Okay, I have the cake in there. We have this here. <clears throat> I have three eggs. Three eggs. See? I'm going to bust the eggs in here. Y'all know I like to cook. Three eggs in there. And, um, I'm gonna do this the old school way. I'm gonna cheat. This is for non stick. Cooking pan right there. Non stick. We have everything orderly here, okay? Everything is orderly. I like order, okay? And I'm gonna do what my grandma does. She don't use measuring cups, she just use it by the eye, by the brain. Put it in like that. That's there. We're gonna put in um, about a cup of water. For y'all women, who think men don't know how to cook, I set a new presidents. Because most of them don't know how to cook. I would necessarily call it men, either. But we're going to put this in here, we're going to mix it. You can see some pizza. Oh, mix man. this in here like that. This is my German chocolate cake. our kids how to cook, especially my boys and stuff, I want to make sure they know how to cook, we got to learn how to be independent, this is the cake pan,
No. no. All right. So we just about got that finished. It's kind of soupy. I like it soupy when we're doing this because it goes in all of the ridges right there. See that? So for those of you who just maybe came on the air, put some of this on there. All right. Now what we're going to do now is it's kind of soupy. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in there like that. It's usually thicker than this, but you know. So I really encourage our young men to learn how to cook, okay? Because if you be like me, get married, get a divorce, and you don't know how to cook, you're in big trouble. Okay? I so the oven, sit down. The oven is about 350. 350 is the oven. So we got that there. We're looking good there. This is here. Put our oil in there. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the oven. Got the oven on 355. Put it on three, about three, about 350. Cut the oven light on. The box said about Yeah, the box said about 350, so we got it 350. It's been pretty warmed already. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there like that. And let that kind of cook, okay? So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead. Right. Now what we're going to do, I don't know where my cameraman at, we're going to season chicken. So next year, everybody know when my birthday come around, somebody can say, come over to my house. Come over to my house, Reverend Harris, and cook me some meat. So we got chicken wings, different things. We're gonna put on here. Okay, come over here just a little bit. We're gonna season this here real good. You're with Dr. Harris in the kitchen. In the kitchen, you with Dr. Harris. Going once, going twice, you're in the kitchen, giving a tutorial on how to cook. For you women that think that men do not know how to cook, that is a lie, because we do know how to cook. Want some classes? I can teach you, okay? So, one of the things I like is, I like pappy sauce, I like, Happy sauce here. And I like to season it real good. I don't like too much salt though, but there we will season it best we can. Okay. So this is Dr. Harris birthday weekend. So since nobody wanted to do anything cooking wise, so I decided today I would go and cook for myself. It's okay, not mad at nobody. I know everybody is busy and got their own lives and all that stuff. 
So I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cross these wings. So I'm 48 years old. What do y'all think about that? Spent my birthday in the gym yesterday lifting weights and I said why not? Okay. Alright. So looking good there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff in here. Grill is hot. Trying to stay away from baked food, so I don't know what you see here. Okay. So in here again, my cameraman come in here a little bit closer and see where. Get inside of here. Some good season in there. It's Pappy's. Pappy season's the best season. I don't know who the guy is or woman, but whoever invented it did a good job. So you're in the kitchen with Dr. Harris. Birthday weekend. Decided to cook for my birthday because nobody called and said, Dr. Harris, come on over and cook your meal. But I'm not mad. I'm glad. In my freedom school, we teach our children how to cook, how to bake. Okay. We have this here. Let me put the chicken in there. Yum, yum. Look at that. Let's hold the camera there. Usually put a little vinegar on it just to I'll be putting vinegar on it throughout the cooking. Keeps it tender, stuff like that. We have our last one. I usually cook with foil, but there's no foil here, so I'm just going to have to do what we do. Okay. There's a certain way I cook this, but I don't have everything I need, so I can't do it like a... I usually cook with a lot of seasons and stuff. This goes over there. Always clean up after you always clean up. No, after you clean up, always go back. 
and clean up everything. It's easier if you do it like that. You won't make a mess. So for you women that want some cooking classes, let me know. Inbox me. I'll hook you up. Now I do have some corn that I want to put on the grill, but boy. Uh, so we have Dr. Harris here in the kitchen. It's my birthday weekend. I'm 48 years old. I had to preach today. I went to the gym yesterday and just bulked out. And uh I had fun to be 48 years old. And uh, I decided to cook me a meal of a day because nobody called and said, Dr. Harris, come by. I got a plate of food. Today's your birthday? birthday. And I'm happy. So we're going to head to the grill. The grill's been cleaned off. My cameraman has cleaned the grill. And we're going to get ready to, to get things ready. The vinegar, I usually use the apple cider, but I don't have a lot of stuff right now. All right, so go ahead and follow me outside. It used to be on Sunday. <clears throat> After church, everybody used to go over somebody's house, and there would be <clears throat> food to eat. But well, we've gotten out of that. So when I get my house, hopefully next year, every Sunday, I'll be having dinner, <clears throat> and everybody can come over. So, Ms. Harris, I have a question. For those people that barbecue and put the meat on the um, barbecue pit, what do you recommend? On pit? Yes. Like, do you just put them all there or do you, you know, put them together? Some people spread them out. Some people uh, do it different ways. I put mine close because it keeps the heat inside and it cooks faster. 